Yo, yeah, it's been a while since I've done one of these, and, well, I figured it's finally about time that I actually get to this. I need to be doing more response videos going forward since there's been a lack of those on my channel lately. Anyway, what we're doing here is that there is a um, rich-looking twat who's a feminist, no surprise, who's basically uh, uh, meant to be paying for all dates. Okay, even though uh, the video was to say, yeah, it's just the first date, nah, I'm pretty sure this bitch will expect men to pay for every single date. Well, anyway, let's get to it. pays on first day yes you know i i big feminist shocker but i believe that men should pick up check on first day yeah expect men to be paying for dates yeah it's not like we're living in a gender equal society or anything like that where um men and women should be treated equally and the way i view going on dates personally it's not Men shouldn't pick up the entire check. Women shouldn't pick up the entire check. Guess what? I view us as equals, and as such, we split in the we split in the bill. Sorry, can't talk sometimes. Why? I explain. It's just math, simple mathematical equation. Okay, when men and women begin date, men are already in debt to you. Why? Well, we spend a lot of money to look like our dating profile picture. <laughs> um. Yeah, except for not a lot of people in general are as rich as you. I mean, come on. That's a pretty fucking expensive fur coat that you got there. And how many people can honestly afford something like that? Yeah, that thick-ass fur coat. Just imagine how much it'd be. I see that as like a maybe $80 product. Oh my fucking god. And just because a man and a woman go on a date, that does not mean that the man is automatically in debt to the woman. Let's get that perfectly fucking clear. No one owes you anything just because you go on a date. Oh, and everything you've done to prepare, that's right, to prepare your profile picture, men don't expect anything like that. At least the older men. I, myself, I, I can't speak on all men, but, uh, on behalf of all men, but I expect the woman to be nice act nice and frankly if i do something for her show some fucking gratitude that's one thing i can definitely say without any hesitation just be nice and show some gratitude when i do something okay you see blowout fifty dollars um yeah it was about the blowout thing yeah um, this goes without, um, an actual hair dryer, which you can actually buy online or any shop, like Walmart or Target, anything like that. In fact, there's a few that are below 15, and heck, there's actually one that's exactly 15 bucks. Yeah, 15 and guess what? You can just do it yourself and continue to use that hair dryer to get it done for free. All right, rich twats can't do any can't do anything for themselves, or they expect other people to do it for them. Manicure, fifteen twenty-five gel plus tip thirty-five. Uh, that's on you. That's your decision whether or not you want to pay them a tip. And of course, it's kind of the gen generous thing to do. To just tip someone you think did a really good job, but there's quite a few um, manicure tip ma manicure kits it's out there. Some less than fifteen dollars, and here's one that's exactly close to fifteen. And you can use this 
manicure kit over and over and over again. That's the amazing part. It's like, yeah, it's... Oh, no. It's like, it's... Ugh, I have to do it myself. I'm an adult. Yeah, that's kind of the thing right there. Not... Hardly anyone can afford to go somewhere and have the shit done for them. So, yeah. Eyebrow sliding, $15. Eyebrow sliding, yeah. It's not like you can just pick up a cheap pair of tweezers and do it yourself. No, no. T roughly 10 bucks is too much money to pay for a pair of tweezers. Ah. Lipstick. Tom Ford, $30. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Like right here, there is a surplus of different lipsticks that are less than $35. Look at this. All of these lipstick tubes, less than $35. This is from uh, MAC Cosmetics. I'll have the link in the description down below if you want to pick some of this stuff for yourself. But yeah, you don't have to pay 30 bucks for a tube of lipstick. I mean, heck, right here, you can see there's one tube of lipstick for two bucks. Two dollar lipstick. But you chose to go with the thirty dollar one. I mean, well, it's not just the two dollar lipstick. If you want to be really, really, really snobby about it, there's one that's roughly sixty bucks. There's one for like eighty-five. If you really want to show off your rich twat privilege there, good job. Brazilian bikini wax on my Russian forest, $35 Groupon. So you. Brazilian bikini wax on my Russian forest. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Yeah. Um, no. Do you really need to get a Brazilian bikini wax? We are going to test out a waxing product. I got it on Amazon and I'm super excited to try this out because I've been eyeing this for a while now and I finally decided to purchase it because I believe the waxing salon that I go to uses the same one. And this kit right here, I believe was like $35 or so. So really good deal. I hope it works and I'm really excited to try it out. It is a Brazilian waxing kit. So we ain't gonna show you Brazilian today in this video because trust me, you don't wanna see that. If you don't know what a Brazilian wax is, it is basically your down there and it is from front to back, so the whole shebang. So now you know why I did not want to demonstrate that for you, okay? If it's a casual date, why the fuck does it even matter at all? I mean, let's be real here. If it's a casual date, that shit doesn't matter. If it's a friends with benefits thing, if it's a one night stand, then yeah, I, could, I guess I could see how that would matter. I mean, some guys would be into that. They want to have a woman who stayed down there. But if it's a casual date, then this shit is so unimportant. It's just, uh, okay. Because typically a man looking into casual dating, that's their attitude. It's like, okay, whatever. They don't care. And frankly, neither do I. Do whatever you want down there. Who cares? God. You see, already $200 you owe me. So yes, you buy me steak dinner. You buy me a nice bottle of wine. I'm gonna need it for the Brazilian bikini. You ask me if I want dessert and you pay for my Uber home. And there you have it. Yeah, pretty demanding, actually. I would just say right up there, fuck you, fuck off. You think you can demand all this shit from me? No. Fuck you. Goodbye. End the date there. So long. See you later. Goodbye. Yeah, that's one of my pet peeves right there is me being told what to do. And this demanding bitch who is just utterly so entitled to this. You don't 
need to have a fancy steak dinner. You do not need a good bottle of wine. I mean, for fuck's sake. And pay for your Uber? Fuck no. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, let's put this around, shall we? Oh, um, I pay $90,000 for a fancy car to pick you up. And I pay $200,000 for the very, very expensive home I take you back in. You owe me for all the shit I did in preparation for our get together. Do you see how ridiculous your line of reasoning is? Okay? Getting all this preparation set up does not mean the man owes you a damn thing. Let's get this straight. That'd be like, oh, um, yeah, my girl owes me money because I use deodorant. It's stupid. It's dumb. And frankly, you don't have any grounds to demand money. Because you do this for yourself. Let's not even deny it. You do this shit for yourself. And with all the money that you just throw around and piss away, that's on you.